how are you today hope you are doing well now today we are gonna look at the various types of solar panels that we have in the market their efficiencies the advantages and disadvantages if you can remember from our last discussion where we were talking about the number of solar panels that you will need for your home this important discussion came up on which is the best solar panel for me now to start us off uh, when you think about installing solar panels you usually consider uh, the cost the aesthetics and the energy efficiency while these are important factors there is a factor in solar panels that would affect all these three that is the type of solar panels you choose the types of solar panels in the market today would affect how much in installation and manufacturing costs as well as how the panels will look on your roof so if you choose uh, poor panels you will have to use more installation materials and the cost will be higher that applies to manufacturing and on how the panels will look on the roof it is one of the most important considerations for a solar panel installation there are three types of solar panels and each has got its own pros and cons the right solar panels will depend on your specific situation and what you hope solar panels will do for you in this discussion we shall discuss the types of solar panels the pros and cons of each type and how to choose the best solar panels for yourself what are the three types of solar panels the three types of solar panels are monocrystalline polycrystalline and thin film solar panels each of these types of solar cells is made in a unique way and as a different aesthetic appearance we start with the mono crystalline solar panels these are the oldest type of solar panel and the most developed these monocrystalline solar panels are made from about 40 of the monocrystalline solar cells these solar cells are made from pure silicon another thing is in the manufacturing process a silicon crystal is placed in a vat of, silic of, of molten silicon and then the crystal is then pulled up out of the vat very slowly allowing for the molten silicon to form a solid crystal shell around it what we call an ingot the ingot is then sliced thinly into silicon wafers the wafer is then made into the cell and then the cells are assembled together to form a solar panel monocrystalline solar cells appear black because of the way sunlight interacts with pure silicon while the cells are black there are a variety of colors and designs for the back sheets and frames the monocrystalline cells are shaped uh, like a square um, with the corners removed so there are small gaps between the cells as shown in the photo two is the polycrystalline solar panels 
This is a newer development, but they are rising quickly in popularity and efficiency. Just like the monocrystalline solar panels, the polycells are made from silicon. But the polycrystalline cells are made from fragments of the silicon crystal that is being melted together. And uh, during the manufacturing process, the silicon crystal is placed in a vat of molten silicon or pulling it out slowly this crystal is allowed to fragment and then cool then once the new crystal is cooled in the mold the fragmented silicon is thinly sliced into polycrystalline solar wafers these wafers are assembled together to form a polycrystalline panel the cells, that is the polycrystalline cells, are blue in color because of the way they reflect uh, in sunlight. Sunlight reflects off silicon fragment differently than it does with a pure silicon cell. Usually, the back frames and the frames are silver with polycrystalline solar panels but there can be a variation the shape of the cell is square and there is no gaps there is no gaps between the corners of the cells lastly we have the thin film solar panels this is an extremely new development in the solar industry and uh, the most distinguishing feature in thin film panels is that they aren't always made from silicon. They can be made from a variety of materials, including cadmium terrorite, amorphous silicon, and copper indium gallium selenide. These solar cells are created by placing the main material between thin sheets of conducting material with a layer of glass on top for protection. The amorphous silicon panels can use silicon, they use silicon, but they use the non-crystalline silicon and are also topped with glass. As their name suggests, thin field panels are easy to identify by their thin appearance. These panels are approximately 350 times thinner than those uh, that use silicon wafers. But the thin film frames can be large sometimes and that, that can make the appearance of the entire system look like that of uh, monocrystalline or polycrystalline. Thin film cells can be black or blue depending on the material they are made from. We are still looking at the monocrystalline, polycrystalline and the thin film solar panels and their characteristics. Besides manufacturing and appearance, there are some differences on how each of the types of solar cells performs. Uh, the key category at the efficiency and the price. Here is how each type of the solar panel performs in terms of efficiency and affordability as well as the other factors that you need to consider before buying one. The characteristics of mono include it has got an efficiency of about 20% and it's the most expensive type of panel in the market made from pure silicon and it's black in color with a temperature coefficient of about negative 0.3 to negative 0.5 percent it can withstand hail of about 25 millimeters falling at approximately 50 miles per hour 
poly crystalline solar panel has got an efficiency of about 15 to 17 percent it's a new development that's a new market uh, a new panel in the market made from fragments of silicon crystals that have been melted together it appears blue in color with a temperature coefficient of a uh, uh, negative 0.3 percent to negative 5 negative 0.5 percent it can withstand hail just like a mono crystal in solar panel of 25 millimeters falling at approximately 50 miles per hour lastly the thin film solar panel can reach an efficiency of about 11 percent it is the cheapest type of solar panel in the market which can save on uh, you on the installation due to the weight difference it is an extremely new development a very new panel in the market and uh, it can be made from a variety of materials including silicon it's very small in size uh, and, and it appears black or blue in terms of color it has got a temperature coefficient of about negative 0 0.2 percent talking of efficiency this is how much energy the solar panel can produce from the amount of sunlight it receives essentially the efficiency determines how much power a solar panel can produce the most efficient solar panel as we discussed is the mono solar panel which can reach about 20 percent efficiency on the other hand polycrystalline solar panel can reach efficiency of about 15 to 17 percent this gap between the two panels may be closing in the future as technology improves to make the poly crystalline solar panel more efficient the least efficient of the solar panels is the thin film it has a lower efficiency and produces less power than either of the crystalline options with efficiency of only uh, about 11 percent the power capacity of a thin film can file can vary though because there isn't a standard size and some models can produce more power than others finally talk about the cost of the solar panels the monocrystalline is the most expensive panel in the market followed by the polycrystalline and the thin film in that order so between the monocrystalline the polycrystalline and the thin film panel which is the best panel for me the best type of a solar panel depends on the purpose of the panels and where they would be installed for residential properties with a large roof space or property the best choice of panels may be polycrystalline these panels are the most affordable for large spaces and will provide enough efficiency and power for residential properties with smaller spaces monocrystalline solar panels may be the best choice these panels work well for those who want to maximize their energy bills in a small space monocrystalline solar panels and the polycrystalline solar panels are good fits for homes and other similar buildings thin film solar panels are almost never used in in homes because they have a lower efficiency instead thin film solar panels are perfect for commercial buildings that can't handle the additional weight of traditional panels although thin film are less efficient 
Commercial roofs have more space to cover more of the roof with panels. So, if you are not sure of which types of solar panels would work with best in your project, in your project or you want some guidance on understanding on solar panel technology or best choices get in touch with us in the email and the phone number below